Welcome to another Ebony Explains. I am Ebony Yvonne, back with another chat GPT tutorial for you. Today, I am jumping right into the video because this tutorial should be very simple and easy and straightforward. And if I did an intro, it would be longer than the actual tutorial. So if you want to know how to find or create APIs for ChatGPT, what most people do is they will log into ChatGPT, especially since it has the new chatgpt.com domain, but you actually need to go to your default um, openai.com account and log in there. And I'll show you how to do that in a, in a minute. So just to give you a scenario of why you may actually want to create an API or need to find an API, is if you're going to integrate ChatGPT as like an assistant or integrate it with other tools. So for example, in this current moment, what I am doing is I am integrating Google Forms with ChatGPT in my uh, Google Workspace account so that whenever I get a new response on a Google Form, then ChatGPT is going to write the email and then it's going to save that email as a draft within my gmail account so you can have it where it automatically sends the email but because it is ai generated me and my team i still want us to have eyeballs on the email first until we're comfortable with just having chat gpt create and send the email but for now it will just create a draft but in order for me to actually do that you can see when i try to connect this and integrate it with a chat gpt it asks for an api key so in order to get this api key i'm just going to hop over to the openai.com um domain and the best way to do that is to go to platform.openai.com and then from there if you're not all automatically logged in you'll have to log in and once you go into this dashboard you just want to go down to where it says api keys so here if you have any existing apis you will find them here and if you need to create one this is also where you create it so in this case i want to create an api key so that i can access this through make so that i can integrate this with my google gmail account as well as google form so i'm just going to go down here and click this button that says create new secret key and then from here i'm going to give it a name and i'm just going to call this google workspace and then create secret key and then you can see it says that the api key has been generated and then i just copy this and then i can paste it over into make so that i can continue on with setting up my automation so guys, let me know if you actually want to see a tutorial on um, how to integrate like different tools with your chat GPT so that you can automate things like creating social media content, creating emails, which is what I'm going to use it for in this instance. Let me know if you would like to see a tutorial for this and I will do another video. And so now you can see that my API key has been created. Um, it has the name, you can see the secret key, the data was created, when it's last used, who it was created by, and then the permissions. So there you have it. That is the quick, easy peasy way to create and find your API keys in ChatGPT. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications so you'll be the first one to get notified anytime I upload another ChatGPT tutorial just like this one. Bye, you guys.